when everything is swept together, just debarrass everything on a plate to cool. And I'm doing a mousseing of chicken, a normal, ordinary mousse of chicken made out of uh, about one breast of chicken with about uh, 200 grams, one white of eggs mixed together, and uh, you put about 200 grams of cream. You've got to mix it quite quickly because if you leave it for too long, uh, at the end you got a, a cream shanty and not a, a mousseline. It intrigues me why you cooked the sweetbread but you've left the chicken raw. Why have you done yes, that? Yes, because after, after when the thing is done, when the chicken, the pig's rotter is ready, you've got to cook it again. So when it's ready, you just mix the sweet bread, well, cold, in fact. It should be cold, because if you mix hot sweet bread with the mousseline, the mousseline will turn, will go over. So now the, the stuffing is ready to go into the pig's rotter to stuff them. You want to take two pieces of foil paper, put some butter on top to prevent the torta sticking. And they've been cooking for three hours. They are nearly three hours. Extraordinary shape. Jolly difficult to stuff. When it'll be finished, you know, they will take the real form, round and nice. But make sure the pig's water are cold, because they must be soft, easy to roll, but cold. If they were hot, the mousseline will, will go funny. I got to hold them to make them nice, to make it the same shape. So now you got to put them about what, one, two hours in a fridge, you know, to keep the shape when you cook it. If you just put it just now, you know, they will become flat and uh, not nice on the plate at the end. So now we, I got to heat the pig sauters, and for that I put them in a saucepan with a, a touch of water, boiling water. And they steam for how long? For about 10 minutes, it will be okay, I think. Back in the oven. So now you still have the trotter still in the oven, so you've got to finish the sauce. You'll pass it through the That's the liquid strainer. that the trotters break in Yes, there. you've got to use your finger, and if it goes nicely on top of your fingers, that means it's okay. So now you've got to add a, a nut of butter, a big nut of butter to the sauce and stir it just like that. You got to do that move because like that the butter got mixed with the sauce because if you don't mix it too too well, you know the, the butter will just melt on top of the sauce and uh, it won't be it won't be very good. It is a simple dish because it's a pig trotter, so everybody thinks that very ordinary dish, but it's something you don't see everywhere. It takes six hours to transform a humble trotter into a Kaufman speciality. The poisson marche pour le personnel. I think to be a good chef, you got to cook for yourself. It's again the same thing, you know, when you got every night 50 customers in your own restaurant, but you don't cook for 50 different people. You cook only for one people, and it's yourself, in fact. Unlike other head chefs, Pierre doesn't employ a sous chef, preferring to do most of the cooking himself, even bread. Bread is something special, because to bake a bread is the most stupid thing to do. You know, it's just flour, yeast, water, and salt. But you know, all the craft in your own hand is when you roll the bread, you just fill it. And that's very simple. And like everything is simple, it needs a lot of craft. Pierre may live in Wimbledon, but his friends, his interests, and of course Sunday lunch remain steadfastly French. This Sunday he's cooking Poulot Po, a typical example of French country cooking. It's got a story attached to it. This dish, hasn't it? Yes, it was popularized in France by the king of Navarre, who when he beca became king of France, he decided that every Frenchman should have a poulet pot for Sunday lunch. So, just a, a tradition. It's a family dish. It takes a lot of time to cook, but not a lot of labor. You can prepare everything in half an hour, but it will take two hours and a half to cook. That's where uh, you got to wake up quite early on Sunday and don't go to mass. <coughs> a little bunch of chopped parsley. 
And with the parsley, buy on ham, breadcrumbs, onion, garlic, and two eggs provide the raw ingredients used in the stuffing for the chicken. Chicken liver. And that's the only cooked ingredient yeah. stuffing so yeah. far. The chicken liver has just been fried for a few seconds. Put them there. And we, we mix all the ingredients for about 30 seconds. Okay. I take the stuffing there to fill the, the bird. Now that's a French hen. Yes. All the poultry we use is all French, you know, because English poultry are very, very bad. You know. And what's the difference and then? An English chicken is cooked in 15 minutes, and when you take a leg, you know, you still have only the bone in your hand. The meat is already fall down on the dish. So you take a, a piece of string with a needle. It's impossible to do it with, a, with an ordinary chicken. You mean it's tougher than an English chicken? Yes, it's not a chicken, it's a hen. A hen is a chicken where already lay some eggs, a very old bird. You couldn't use a capon? No, a capon, no. A capon is just a, a large chicken who, who will cook too quickly. Because we got to cook it for a long time until the stuffing is cooked, it's hot inside. Now we put the chicken in the pot. Into a stock. And with onions, carrots. So it's a real stock. And that's to cook for a how For long? about two hours and a half. All depends on the size of the chicken, of course, but uh, it will take two hours and a half. And that could bite the onion. A Savoy cabbage stuffed with pork meat, pork fat, garlic, onions, eggs, and parsley will be braised with the chicken. And that'll be in the pot for how long? For about one hour and a half. The farcidure is a type of brioche made out of flour, melt, butter, eggs, salt. And the only difference with the brioche is that we cook it in a pot with all the rest. So it's a bit like a dumpling? Yes, it's a type of dumpling, yes. That's it. I can see why the King of Navarre prescribed this dish, because it's quite a filling one, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. No, it is coming up. Yes. And it will stay on top like that, and in fact, you know, it will stay dry. The inside is quite dry. It's dry. It doesn't drink the stock. Now we put the leeks, which should be first with the carrots, because they take more time to cook than the rest of the veg, about 15 minutes before serving. 